guys, this is Marmy. And I'm Meg. And welcome to our inaugural show. What, do you know what inaugural means? Nope. It means our very, very first ever show. And today we are gonna make duck egg brownies. So I have a friend and um, mm -hmm. uh, I have a friend who has like a hobby farm and they gave me these beautiful duck eggs. The green ones are mallard. This really big one here is a peking. And then the others are like your regular white kind of ducks that I can never remember their names of. What's that one? Okay, so then I probably got to mix up. These two are, are the white duck and that's a peking. This is kind of brown and, and different looking. But what's the green one? Those are mallard. Oh. So we're gonna actually cheat a little and use the smallest of the duck eggs because that way I don't have to try to calculate out which is the right amount of duck egg to chicken ratio because that involves math and I don't really want to do that on a, on a weekend. So I usually have Meg do the egg cracking because she is awesome at it and we have all of our supplies and everything set up to uh, start the baking process here and then we probably when we get the chicken egg brownies, the regular kind of brownies, made up. We'll probably film a second video with us doing a taste test. You'll get to see both of them and what they look like when we're finished. Um, so we have that to look forward to. I'm really excited to do a taste test because brownies are my favorite thing. So what she's going to do, what Meg is going to do is go ahead and uh, crack the egg. We do it in a separate bowl for a couple different reasons. The first being because these are um, kind of wild eggs, meaning uh, we didn't buy them at a grocery store. They haven't been candled, um, meaning we don't know if there's a baby duck in them. So we tend to open them in a separate jar or a bowl so that if there's anything extra, we won't get a surprise. What if it's a baby? Well, then we probably won't eat that egg. So if you want to go ahead and chuck that in the trash really quickly. And that beeping that you just heard means our oven is ready. And as you can kind of see, I don't know if you can really or not, duck eggs look just like chicken eggs. Um, very normal, very standard. They're just kind of richer in taste usually. So I think the brownies are gonna be a little more rich. That's my opinion. We're, we won't know until after we finish the cooking. Is it egg cheese or Okay, so now I'm going to snip, snip. Our, to open our bag. Okay. And then, so we're gonna put in the oh so yummy um, brownie mix. And it looks like we barely have enough room in this bowl. Um, There's never enough room in that bowl. We use so, the same bowl, Oh, okay. Mommy. So then what I'm going to do now is I've already pre-measured our oil and our water and then we have our egg all ready to go. So. And I am doing the mixing. That's right. Okay, since we do not need this, we will be using the big spoon because we were supposed to cr finish undoing the yolk. Well, but mommy's crazy and wants to do it her way. I, I don't usually mix all the liquids and then put the powder in. I do. So, um, Meg has one way of cooking. Um, and Mommy has a so oh so different way. This is true, I do. I don't usually follow the directions either. So, no. when it, we're gonna we're thinking about doing um, a group of Exico episodes called So Easy a Child Can Do It. And I think the challenge is going to end up... Mommy who, failing. Who can't do it. Which will not be me. It will It'll be easy enough for a child to do. It will not be easy enough for the I adult to do. I can tell you if that tastes good. Okay, so go ahead. Do, should I go ahead and open up the special I mean, triple part of the chocolate mix? Okay. Just mix. Okay, go. And so, I always get to the bags. I want to taste it. Okay, just quick. And kids, before you do any of this stuff yourself, you should definitely ask a grown-up at home. Um, as it involves the oven, and in our case, it involves a gas stove. So we typically like to um, do it together. Do it together, just because fire. So um, 
I keep getting it on so, me. So uh, what I also did in kind of preparation is I went ahead and I pre-oiled our pan. Um, and I tried to do as much of it ahead of time as I could so that uh, when we got to the, the actual making and mixing, we could just pop it right in the pan and right into the oven. And we wouldn't make you sit through the entire process because that could take a while. And in this case, it's it going to be... Minutes. Um, it's going to take actually a little longer than that. It's going to take about 40 minutes according to <coughs> the back of the box. See the back of the box? Disturbingly long cooking times, but we're going to do it. But I found out it actually has chocolate chips. It does. That's part of the triple chocolate. So you saw us put in the fudge separately. And then we also have the regular brownie batter, which is chocolate number two. And then chocolate chips is chocolate number three. Three. That's right. Wait. And and Meg is now telling me that when we're finished, the tradition is that she gets the bowl. Nom, and, nom. and that's kind of true. And I know that we could certainly argue salmonella or whatever, but um, like I said, I have a friend and she's my, my farmer and she's my duck handler. And um, so she, uh, I, I trust her eggs. I'm not going to worry too much about salmonella. Um, huh? Sal What's salmonella? salmonella is a germ that can make you very, very ill, and it's typically found on uncooked eggs. Usually it's found on the shell. Um, but we never eat the shell. But when you crack it open, the shell opens, sometimes you can get it. Um, and like I said, I'm not too worried about it in this case, but hey, now you guys all know about salmonella. Yay! So if you didn't know about it, you're more safe than you were. <laughs> So the other thing that we like to do before we start our brownie mix is we both wash our hands thoroughly and um, we make sure to make our area as clean and sanitary as possible because we want to make sure that there's no uglies. Germs. That's right. No germs. Uh, anytime we're dealing with something involving food, you don't want to really um, open. Ah. Well, no, you didn't get it all. Thank you. Um, it's like having a dog, only it's a small child. No, she's she's my food taster, my food handler. She does a great job. And then what I purposely did was I purposely put these in a, a long, thin brownie pan. I want to eat it. Um, so that we could make a, little, a few more samples than we normally would make, and it would cook up a little bit faster. Um, and... I think in this case, Meg is right. We might only try cooking it for about 30 minutes at first to see how it works. Um, and we'll kind of go from there. Oh, can I have it? Um, anyway, that's it for now. I'm going to see about merging this with the after results. But if I can't, there'll be a second video showing um, what they look like after they've cooled and everything. So stay tuned and we'll see. All right. Ready? Bye-bye.